Uh, just wanted to ask kind of what, how have you seen your play transform to start the spring ball season? Um, you know, obviously for the past few weeks since you've started spring practice, just kind of overall in general, how, how have you seen your play transform from last season? Um, as far as my play from last year from, to the spring, I would say Coach Ben did a great job with us, you know, in the weight room. I feel like I'm stronger, uh, faster, and I understand the game more uh, than I did before uh, before the spring. So, I mean, other than just getting bigger, faster, and stronger with Coach Ben, just the mental aspect of it, you know, uh, being ready for contact, knowing how to deliver contact and all that. And I, I don't know if you just saw, but uh, Kansas football has just finalized the spring practice date, uh, or the spring practice game, I should say, on May 1st. Just kind of mm -hmm. your overall thoughts about that. This will be, uh, you know, the first spring game, you know, in a couple of years. Um, it will be my first spring game, so I'm really excited for it. I know a lot of the guys, you know, last year not, not being able to have that spring game. So, I mean, we're just ready to get after it, man. We're ready to show everybody what we've been working on. Um, you know, offense clicking, defense is clicking. Everybody's on the same page as far as moving forward with our schemes and everything like that. So we're excited. Hey, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the, the running backs and just how you guys really factor into this offense that Mike DeBoer is installing. Uh, I can't really tell all uh, that, but I mean, Coach DeBoer is a great offensive mind. Uh, you know, we got a lot of different things going on, a lot of different formations, a lot of different motions. I mean, he's a he's a genius. So, and everybody else on the offensive staff giving in what they know. Coach Grimes, Coach Jones, Coach Wallace, everybody's just giving in to us and we're making the best decision offensively for us. What, what do you guys as running backs like about what you've seen so far? I say from my perspective, you know, we got a lot more routes. Uh, we got a lot more, the protections is a lot more cleaner. Um, you know, our runs are, are really straightforward and clean and everything just seems to be a lot tighter and a lot together. Everybody's on the same page from the quarterback, running back, O line, wide receivers blocking outside. So, I mean, it's a, it's a it's a it's a well oiled machine. With you and Velton and uh, and Highshaw, how would you maybe describe the similarities between you three and maybe some differences between your different styles? Um, I mean, we are we are really are three different type of backs. You know, Velton is, you know, the quick, quick. If he hits that hole fast, he's going to be out of there. Daniel is, Daniel's big and powerful and can hit the gap the same way. Uh, as far as me, uh, I say me and Velton have the, the ability to be out wide and catch swing passes and catch routes as we all do. But, you know, me and Velton might specialize that a little bit more than Daniel. But Daniel is a good downhill runner. I'm a good downhill runner. Velt's a good downhill runner. I mean, we got we got depth in our room, and it's it's good friendly competition too. So everybody supporting each other. Everybody knows. Everybody knows what to do. Everybody knows how to do it. So we just all support each other. And, and then I also just want to ask you: Have you seen anything from Velton or Daniel like this spring that that you can tell like there's something different about their their game, or they've added something to the way they play, or anything like that? Just the mental aspect of it, man. Like, as far as just everybody understanding and everybody being locked into everything that's going on, I mean, that's the biggest difference, you know. The biggest difference is, you know, we, we, we're we faster, we're stronger. Everybody's faster and stronger. Everybody's making their cuts stronger, cleaner, and all that. So it's a great it's a, it's a a great thing to see because we just moving. We're doing everything we did last year just way better. We look way stronger, way older, uh, and way more in sync. Hey, Mari, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I wanted to ask, you had to wait a little uh, before you got here, before you were able to start playing. What was that like for you? How would you keep yourself busy um, while you were waiting to get up on campus originally? I mean, before I got on campus, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't myself. So, I mean, I was working. I was trying to work out. Uh, I got to campus, you know, I was like, I was like 235, like 20% body fat. I mean, I, look, I just look sloppy. So, I mean, just, I mean, and then, and then getting on campus and then COVID happening and then having that, having that whole fall just to really change, change my mindset, change how I approach the game. And just know, 
uh, it was hard though. It was hard. It was hard doing the gray shirt. I mean, I thought it was gonna be easy getting recruited, but then actually doing it and like the process of it, it was, it was, it was hard. So I mean, I'm I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad to be producing. I'm glad to be, you know, just I'm glad to be a Jayhawk, man. Yeah. What What made it so hard? Uh, those six months. Like seeing, like watching a play coming into games, you know, just knowing I, I like, dang, I could, I could be on the field right now. I mean. That was really the hardest, and then you know, just just trying to stay, just trying to stay like in shape was hard too. You know, just because you don't have that, you don't have that constant pressure of having to stay in shape, stay in shape, stay in shape. Yeah, and then I just wanted to ask about your last year. How how would you sum up your first playing season uh, at Kansas? I was summing up as um, I was summing up as positive in the aspect of like just growing up and understanding football more and, you know, really understanding that, like, if in order to be great in this, you have to put your, your all into it. You got to put it all in the, on the field, in the, in the film room, in the classroom, you know, just being consistent in everything you do. So that's probably, as, as, that's probably how it explained my last, my last fall here. I really got back into me. You know, just after this last fall and then coming in after the break and then coming in during spring ball, I came in ready to play. Hey, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the, the O-line, too. What improvements have you seen from the O-line this spring? Man, our O-line is going to be good. Our O-line is really aggressive. I mean, the protections, they communicate, and we, we preach communication every single day. So, I mean, our O-line just communicate, know where they're going, understanding fronts, everything like that. They, they, they're coming along really well. And uh, I know you said you don't, you're not, you're not allowed to give us a lot of details about the offense, but maybe how would you describe Mike DeBoard's offense and, and what you guys are hoping to do? Genius. <laughs> he's a great mind. I mean, he's been in the game so long. He's so respected throughout, throughout the building, throughout what he does. And, and then again, he listens. He listens to his coaches. He listens to his players. So, I mean, it's just special. It's, it's a really good offense. Are, are there a lot of adjustments for you guys? As far as, as far as to what? I mean, just, you know, obviously last year you had a different OC. Now you got a new guy, new plays, that type of thing. I mean, we run in, we run into plays that, that we, that are best fit for us. Best for fit for what we can do at Kansas. So that's probably the biggest, that's probably the biggest change.